Hi everybody out there. My name is Jana Bergholz and I'm an application scientist for EDS at Brucker. And this year at M&M we're introducing two new instruments in order to complete our existing portfolio of tools for materials characterization in electron microscopes. These two instruments are the X-Sense Wavelength Dispersive Spectrometer and the X-Trace Microspot X-Ray Source. We are now the only manufacturer providing five analytical tools for scanning electron microscopy, WDS, MicroXRF, EDS, EBSD, and MicroCT. The four major techniques have the same analytical interface, the new Esprit 2.0 software package. Now, this is our wavelength dispersive spectrometer. We call it the X-Sense because it allows us to detect trace elements with high sensitivity and we can separate X-ray lines that show typically strong peak overlaps in EDS. The X-Sense is designed for the energy range from 100 eV to 3.6 kV. With the energy resolution, we can get down to 4.6 eV for the silicon K-alpha line. Our parallel beam WDS has six different diffracting crystals and uses special mirror optics for efficient large angle X-ray collection and suppression of artifacts at higher energies. For a reproducible and stable positioning of the focal spot, we have developed a fully motorized three-axis outer alignment system. The optics are fully retractable and non-magnetic, and the latter is of course important to minimize beam shift and image distortion. The X-Sense operates under the same software platform as EDS, our new Esprit 2.0 software, so that uh, combined WDS and EDS analysis can be performed. Now here you see our X-Trace microspot X-ray source on an SEM column. It consists of a microfocus X-ray tube and polycapillary optics with molybdenum as target material, spot sizes smaller than 40 micrometer can be achieved. The X-rays can be mounted on a, any suitable port on the SEM and it can be adjusted to illuminate the same spot as analyzed with the electron beam, uh, which enables us to analyze the same area with EDS and microXRF. MicroXRF is an energy dispersive technique, so we are using the EDS silicon drift detector to collect the incoming X-rays produced by fluorescence. Compared to electron excited spectrometry, MicroXRF has the advantage of 20 to 50 times better sensitivity for trace elements in the mid to heavy element range. It's an ideal combination using MicroXRF with its outstanding sensitivity for heavier elements and uh, together with EDS for the lighter elements provides us with analytical results of highest quality. Which brings us right to the two remaining techniques that are included in the software package and that can be performed simultaneously, EDS and EBSD. Bruker offers two detectors for EBSD, one that is ideal for high speed measurements and one for applications requiring high resolution patterns. Both detectors are in situ vertically adjustable and in the software, we have assistants that help you finding the signal and performing the calibration. Simultaneous EDS and EBSD mappings can be acquired with a speed of up to 930 patterns per second, and the map data are saved as a position tagged hypermap database that includes both the EDS and EBSD results. The EDS spectra can be, can be used for phase discrimination and for our unique advanced phase ID. Now, for EDS, we offer silicon drift detectors for both. SEM and TEM. For each detector model, we can reach the best possible solid angle with our slimline technology. A high performance pulse processor with an output count rate of up to 600,000 counts per second, coupled with an energy resolution down to 121 eV, provides the highest quality spectra for precise analysis, especially in the light element and low energy range. To obtain information on a specimen's internal microstructure non-destructively and without any additional sample preparation, you can use the micro-CT for the SEM. Uh, the scanning volume of your sample uh, can be 4 millimeters in diameter and it can have a maximum length, length of 10 millimeters. You can detect details down to 400 nanometers in size. Um, now, I'm showing you the stage that you need for the micro-CT. Um, this stage you can just put on your stage in the SEM. 
and it has a rotating stub for the sample. Um, what you're doing is you're shooting your electron beam down on a metal target. X-rays are being produced and these are going to go through the sample and will be detected by the camera, by the CCT camera that is attached to the SEM. Now with the software that we're providing for 3D rendering, you can measure and visualize the internal morphology in 2D and 3D and generate realistic models for a virtual travel through your specimen. We are taking pride in the fact that Rooker is now the only vendor to offer five analytical techniques for your electron microscope. These are EDS, WDS, EBSD, MicroXRF and MicroCT. Due to the full integration and the variety of possibilities provided by our new 2.0 software suite for combining data obtained by these complementary methods, our Quantax system has now evolved into a true multimodal analytical toolset for comprehensive materials characterization in the SEM.